Hey, Islam family. Peace and love. I want to come on here for another short one like I do. Y'all know I like to drop in and uh, give some good jewels and drop back out. But um, with this particular one, I, I am going to do that. But I might have to make this actually the topic um, of my whole ne next webinar seminar. Um, because I realize how important it is and so many people not really getting it uh, by the questions that it asked, and then not only that, when I went further into the definition, you know, I found um, things that, that people are really not talking about, you know, something I, I've never heard anyone speak on directly uh, in correlation when it comes to this appropriate persona. And, um, you know, this definition comes from everyone's favorite Black's Law, you know, it's the second edition, you know, for the online, but, um, the in one's own proper person, you know, we know that to be um, similar to at, as pro se in court or, you know, holding your own as opposed to being represented by attorney. But the thing is, um, how many people have actually looked up a proper person? Because when you look into that, that definition, the legal definition in particular, was interesting, something I had never heard um, until I looked at it myself, and I've known this for a while, but I, I think this may be my first time putting it on camera, but a uh, proper person means a registered owner, you know, so, you know, if this law definition saying proper person means the registered owner, um, that means it's going a little bit deeper than what some people are teaching. And uh, yeah, let's pull up registered owner. I got that one also. Um, individual organization whom certificates are directly issued or who, as a result, uh, is recorded on the corporation's security holder records. Y'all have that? Because I do. Like, I know what that means. Like, directly what that means. And um, I'm going to have to really break that down. But, um. Uh, let's read the second one. A uh, person or company whose name is listed on a security certificate or some other title. Let me know if y'all have that. Because I do. I know what that means, you know, in respect to straw man, birth certificate, things of that sort. And, you know, this is process that I teach, you know. So, here, let me see. I'm not going to play no games with y'all. Show and prove. Y'all love it. Here we go. Boom. That's a certificate attached to a certificate of ownership. Yes? No? This is full counter deed. Another process would, you know, hit me up in the email and, you know, I'll put y'all onto this and how to properly do this process. Mm. Another one. Um, they call this DBA or assumed name uh, certificate. But, ooh, look, certificate of ownership. Hold on. What? So, all of these things go together like that? All that goes into it? Being in your own proper person, appropriate persona, yeah, that's why we got to have a seminar webinar on this so I can really break this down for everyone who didn't get that the initial time they got appropriate persona because appropriate persona is just um, the first um, tip of the iceberg uh, when it comes to the status correction, but it's very important and I want everybody to get it. Um, Hit me up if y'all um, want to go into this further. Uh, email Walter Bade and number seven more at gmail.com. Peace and love, family.